This is the CL1 5 inch carbon fiber frame from Roto Riot. There were a lot of things that drew me to this frame, and let me tell you about a few of the really neat features that I noticed right off the bat. First of all, this thing is absolutely rock solid. It is sturdy like a tank. I cannot even flex this even a little bit. And that's partly due to the uh, five millimeter arms. I already measured this, but they are just over five millimeter, but it's close enough to call it five millimeter. And one thing that I've been dying to find out, which is not listed on any website anywhere, um, can't find this information, is the weight of this frame. And I just weighed it. I'm getting 141.3 grams. So we're gonna call it 141 or 142 grams, which 142 grams is pretty heavy for a frame for me. Um, I usually fly ultralights and I think 141 grams is pretty heavy for any frame pretty much. But if you want a rock solid frame, this thing is an absolute tank. Um, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to put it together, but uh, some of the other really neat features that they have here are, it has both sets of mounting holes for 20 by 20 and 30 by 30. Um, it has an extra set of 20 by 20 mounting holes in the back if you're gonna use a 20 by 20 VTX, like I'm gonna be using for my build with this. Um, and uh, it, it comes with 30 millimeter standoffs it has a set of uh, TPU printed micro camera mounts, which is pretty much what I use anyways, and they work really well, so uh, I don't have a problem with that. Um, there's a couple things that I did notice that I'm not too sure about. Uh, for instance, they don't have a circular cutout in the back for your uh, antenna or your pigtail to come through. Another thing is um, this mid plate here, this is all one piece and you can see these little spots that stand up. These are built into the frame and they are little threaded grommets and that is what your arms screw into. And there's this bottom plate, uh, the screws go right through the bottom plate, the arms, and they screw directly into the mid plate here. And so it's held together with this, these little threaded grommets. So if you break one of these grommets, um, you're kind of out of luck and you're going to have to uh, get a lock nut to put on there and find probably a bigger screw, a uh, longer screw, and use a lock nut. And one other major, major cool thing about this frame is it's only 35 bucks. For 35 bucks to get a rock solid tank of a frame like this, that is absolutely 100% worth it. I'm gonna have a build coming up with this. My build's gonna have absolutely everything that you can think of. It's gonna have pretty much every feature that I could think of. So um, I can't wait to use this frame. I think it's really neat looking and for the price, you pretty much can't beat it. So this is the Rotor Riot CL1 and I'm gonna show you really quick how it goes together. That's it. That is the CL1. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.